G'day, how's it going viewers? I'm just going to make up a few um, arrows I've got from scratch, well almost scratch anyway. arrows here <coughs> and the old blazer veins and some boning uh, fletch type platinum that's cool pretty cool or what? Fletch tight, yeah it is. <coughs> it's good glue this stuff. Expensive though. I think it was about twelve dollars for that size. Um, stuff knows what size it is anyway. That's me uh, bone fletching jig. The other two spare ones here, I'll have to use them knocks and a couple of other arrows. So, I'm going to need knocks. Anyway, um, for now, the way I like to put, <coughs> put those wraps on is just get an old mouse pad like this one. Make sure you. going on here. Right. Just lay him out like that. So I've removed the um, knocks. Makes it a bit easier if they're out. Line them up in the back of the arrow. And just rub your thumbs along the, the beginning of where the wrap sticks on. Slowly roll them up. I like to get the arrows looking pretty bright. Not for decoration or anything, because I'm a trendsetter. Just because
because I like to be able to find them easily when I'm losing. Gosh, you need buddy. You can get ask me this. Way too many arrows, <coughs> and I haven't lost all that many. I lost probably half a dozen, and that's enough. I got sick of buying complete arrows, that was getting a bit expensive, so. I decided just to buy the shafts and assemble them yourself. Oh bugger. I won't edit these bits out of the video because, because this is what you can expect. Not gonna go to plan any time, are they? mind doing this actually, I find it quite relaxing. A little bit like um, <coughs> not reloading ammunition bullets and that. Wraps done. I've still got <coughs> sort of blue inserts in yet, and do the veins. So I'll, I'll pause there for a moment. Be right back. Is the old, the old hot glue gun for this. It works real good this stuff. Because um, it's not brittle, so it's got a bit of flex with it. This glue gun <coughs> is a bit buggy. She doesn't really get as hot as it should. Got a little bit of excess on there. I'm sure, I'm sure the next one's going to turn out better. Probably not. Now 
after those are done, I'll show you what I'll do with them, just in case they're, they're not suited right up a flush against the shaft. Just get a cigarette lighter and peep them up a little bit, tie them up. Snug as a bug in a rug. Right. Uh, pause there for a moment, ladies and gents. Okay. Now this arrow is done, so we'll open him up and have a look. See what we've got here. Completed. All right. Victory V Force. There is a 350 spine. I've got some of these in 300 as well. With the 300s, a eh? I'd be wanting. Um, Heavier broadheads, I think, although they seem to fly alright. So, so, here they go. But these ones are going really well at the moment, so sticking with these for the time being. a bugger, I, I need glasses. And any of you younger fellas out there, you'd be right. But any of you blokes that haven't got the best of eyesight, just just double check these. Make sure there's enough glue on there. I reckon you're better off to have a little bit too much than a little bit too less. Too tight on there, but you 
don't have to Arnold it on there or anything, that's for sure. Um, <coughs> all right, so what do I need? One twenty five grains here. I'll give those a try. Normally use a hundred, a hundred grains. Give those a go, is that the right? Twenty five grain fuel coin. And that's her. Turned out pretty neat that one. If anybody knows where I can get hold of these Victory V-Force knocks, could you let me know please? Because where I live I cannot get them. Right, um, I'll put them in there. Bit of glue. It's hard to see that glue on these white veins. Very difficult. So to set. Okay, this one should be done. They don't need very long for that glue to take. A couple of minutes. Oh, I suppose you need to leave for a minute. Safe about it. 
two minutes is probably better. Alright, oh, last one. So we look for that seam, turn that in, in between the legs. Anyway, that's how I make my arrows, or how I assemble my arrows. It's a lot harder, a lot more inexpensive than having to buy the already assembled arrows. I'm not sure what I'm saving, I think it's about $40 or something uh, on a dozen arrows, round about, Just a little bit more. It's a fair saving though, it's, you know, it's like um, reloading your ammunition, heck of a lot cheaper. interested in making their own arrows. I brought these shafts off um, eBay. eBay I think it was. Yeah. Well they're on there anyway. So there you go gentlemen. And uh, over and out for now. Take care and I'll catch us another time. Cheerio.